Welcome back everyone to my YouTube channel. My name is Nilesh Dudhatra and this video is talk about the annotation used in a Spring Boot application. So first of all, at the red component, then at the red scope and third one is a at the red auto wired. So let me start with the component, at the red component with the example. So for that, let me take one uh, project, new then Spring Starter. Let me take the name of a project that is a demo one and then the package name is a com.nilesh.demo. Then next, I have not required any kind of dependency over here and the Spring Boot version is a 2.3.4 and finished. So all the jar file has been copy passed from the web. I had not required any kind of uh, such things. So this one is a, a facility provided by the Spring Boot. And now I'm opening my package. That is a demo one application.java file. Now, uh, for the edit component, I had to create one class. So I right click on the my package and create one class. The name of a class is a student. Then let me take some variables over here. So first one is a private integer s id that is a student id. Then second one is a private string s name that is a student name. Then private string s city that is a city of the student. Now right click on the uh, page and click on the source then get generate a getter setter for the all the variables so select all and generate the getter setter now one more thing i create one function that is a public then void and display now let me print some line system dot out dot print ln then print some message that is called display function of student class. Now let me take one class uh, constructor over here. So public then student. The constructor name is as a name of the class name and there is a no any kind of written type as we know about the constructor. Now, let me put one line, sys out, then uh, I student object created so these two message has been printed over here in a student class now let me create one uh, object of a student over here student stu is equal to new student and stu dot display okay so let me execute the program let me check the output of this program. Okay, executed. Fine. So at first the object of student has been created and second thing, the calling of the function display. So it has been executed successfully. Now the main program, main problem is there. We have to use a new student over here. So at the, during the execution of the program, of this project we must have the class student so this one is a tight coupling whenever you used the new keyword to create an object at that time the tight coupling is there right so during the testing that is a very harmful or uh, to use the tight coupling so we have to remove the new keyword yes so what we had to write over here so now i am pressing the control key and click on the run let me check the written type of the run that is a configurable application context so 
I am putting over here and create one uh, variable context is equal to then uh, let me write over here context then dot then get bin then the name of a class so student dot dot class then semicolon so there is no any kind of error let me execute the program relaunch the program let's see what happened okay one error is there so no such bin definition exception means such kind of uh, uh, class has been not there right so whenever i'm clicking over here it's at uh, this error is at during the creation of the object now what is the problem over here so for that at first we check the uh, object is created or not in my spring container now what is a spring container at first so for that the spring container is used uh, to uh, create a bins of the project right so let me consider this one is a jvm and inside the jvm there is a one spring container and inside the spring container the spring bins is available right so if in your project large number of class has been available so for the all the class it's not necessary that you have you have a spring bin right means uh, that is not necessary that all the bins all the class bins are in the spring container it may be that uh, some classes doesn't have a, a bin in the spring container okay fine so spring boot offered the various design patterns so that is a singleton prototype request session and global session right so mainly session and proto uh, singleton and prototype has been used so how we resolve this error so for that we have to put the object of this class in the spring container so how we can put the this uh, object in the container so we have to use the component annotation over here now uh, let me check the execution of the program okay now execute the program so there are no any kind of error so the object is created over here means constructor has been called over here and the display function is called over here right now let me create a one more object for the class student the name of first object is stu1 and again the display function has been called so that means uh, two times display function has been called and may, uh, two object has been created so let me check the output of the program so one object is created and two times display function has been called but over here two object has been created okay so for that one more uh, thing is there that is a, a design pattern so over here by default this class is a single ton design uh, scope design pattern it means if i am writing over here scope then in the bracket by default that is a single ton design pattern but i am writing over here, over here that is a prototype it means the each and every time whenever we write a object when we whenever we declare any object at that time the object uh, the constructor has been called and the memory allocation has been done so now just i had changed one thing over here that is a scope then it's a prototype now let me execute the program but before that only one time constructor has been called right in the case of singleton now the prototype uh, scope let me execute the program so mainly two time this constructor has been called and it's after the execution 
of uh, it means after initialize all the application right the object has been created and two time individually uh, the display function has been called means the prototype uh, scope it means the prototype design pattern of for the multiple object uh, in the spring container right if you uh, that is a uh, depend on the development time if you want more uh, object in the spring container right more than one object in the uh, con spring container at that time you have to use the prototype scope and if you want to single uh, object for the class at that time you have to use the singleton programming singleton uh, design pattern so this one is a singleton and prototype both things and after that next one is a, a, a auto wired annotation so let me consider this one is a spring container and uh, in the spring container the bins are available we can talk as a spring bin then over here, if we consider as a single ton uh, student object STU, then now let me uh, take one more class that each and every student having a computer, right? Each and every student having a computer. So let me consider the object of a computer that is a COM, com, right? So let me execute the program uh, to understand what is auto wired. Right. So, to understand the auto wire, let me let me take one more class that is a computer. So, computer having a variable private integer CID that is a computer ID private string c brand private string c uh, let me take company okay now let's create a getter and setter for the uh, all the variables generate and let me take one more function that is public void display let me put one line sys out to print some message so same as a student calling the display function in computer class okay fine now let me uh, over here there is a no any kind of use of constructor so not it to take the constructor over here if you put then it's okay you can check the output of uh, when the object has been created you can check all these things so let me remove the uh, prototype scope over here from this uh, student class and okay let me remove uh, we can we not need a required a student one so now so each and every student having a computer right so private the type of uh, object is a computer computer and the name of the object is a com now let me create a getter setter for the com for that we have to click on generate getter setter and create the getter and setter so now the object has been created and let me execute one more thing these two function i put after the object created and com dot display so whenever we call the main function at that time the student display function has been called so after the display function called the com display means computer class display function has been called so this one is a simple program 
let me execute the output and check the output execute the program let me check okay fine one error is there that is a this class is not available right so at which point the error okay fine so at the student in the student class this error has been arised right so in the computer this computer class is not in a spring container right so if i want to add this class in the spring container i have to use the component annotation assign the comp assign to the computer class now uh, this computer and student both class are in spring container right so now let me execute the program what happened what is the output okay fine the null pointer exception for at the uh, display function right so what happened whenever we create the object of any uh, any class at that time the object of a computer is searching the uh, memory allocation for the com right but if we put the at the rate auto configure auto wired right at the rate auto wired annotation then this object has been found in the spring container itself right if you not write auto wired then uh, the computer not uh, this program is not understand that how at which place i have to search the object now at the uh, at the rate auto wired is indicate that this object is available in the spring container itself now we execute the program okay so the object has been created only one time and the uh, display function is called of the student and after the student the display function of computer has been called so uh, this one is uh, about the spring boot auto configuration at the rate component and the scope okay thank you very much for watching the video of uh, spring boot annotations